Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am super excited to talk about what we are going to be talking about today. It's something that I've been wanting to talk about actually for a while. I mentioned it in a recent video, and a few people said they wanted me to talk about this um, kind of more at length. And so today what we're going to be talking about is my experience with doing a bodybuilding show after losing a massive amount of weight, and why I really actually don't recommend it to most people. Um, we're gonna, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy, all right? Spoilers, it's gonna get crazy. Go crazy, ah, 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 go stupid, ah, ah, go crazy. Uh, but if you uh, are ever thinking to yourself, hey, it looks like fun, it'd be fun to see when this is happening live. I stream on Twitch every single weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All these lovely people here are here live and it's a good time. So if you ever want to come join us, please feel free to do that. But again, like I said, we are going to be talking about my experience competing. So before we get into that, let's kind of take the step back into why I even decided um, to compete. So for me, competing was something that I don't think I even realized how I don't think I realized how big of a deal it was when I decided to make that jump, right? Competing for a bodybuilding show. So before we get into that, let's kind of take a step back. So when I started losing weight, the thought of doing a bodybuilding show didn't even cross my mind. It wasn't even something that was on the radar for me. It wasn't even something that I thought I would ever do. And so it's not like it was like the end goal for me. Um, and it seems like that's kind of how it is for a lot of people now. And I really do think that that can be dangerous. I don't want anyone to come to this video and think to themselves that I am trying to crap on anyone that has decided to do a show. I did one myself, right? Or crap on anyone that that's a big goal of theirs. But I do want to put out a word of caution because I genuinely do believe it can be pretty detrimental to the overall goal um, of losing weight and keeping weight off. So for me, when I started losing weight, I was just, you know, hey, genuinely afraid that the size that I was was going to kill me relatively soon, right? I started losing weight when I was 20, and I remember being genuinely afraid. I don't know how, I don't know how true or how based in reality this thought was, but I genuinely was afraid I'm not going to see 30 years old, which is coming up very soon, actually, which is crazy. Your boy's going to be 30. Yeah, it's true. Um, and so I had that fear and that was a really big driving factor was the fear of death morbid maybe but true I was genuinely afraid of that happening and so I started you know just decided to start losing weight if you want to know more about that we have videos on that right we can go into that if that's something you're curious about but this is mainly about the show so after I had lost a good amount of my weight I met up, I met some of my friends, they still make YouTube videos, Brian Turner, and he was going to be doing a bodybuilding show, and he said to me, hey, I think that, you know, it would be really cool for you to do this, like, why not? And I thought to myself, yeah, why not? We had been working out for, for quite a while at that point, probably at least like six months. He had taught me a lot about lifting, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, I think it looks like fun, it, it'll be good to like challenge myself, and so I kind of jumped into doing a bodybuilding prep. So what that looked like for me was, Luckily enough, and I think that this was one of the good things I did, was we really planned it out over a year in advance, right? So we basically said, next year, yeah, 2016 was when I competed, we we're going to do this show. So we had a lot of time to get ready for it. And so what that looked like for me was bulking and cutting, which... <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of like a hot topic issue. A lot of people I think it's um, not needed. A lot of people think it's the only way to do it. I personally, if I would never bulk and cut again, I don't think it's necessary. But it was something that we did, and it was actually pretty good for me at the time because as I talked about in one of my previous videos, I was really struggling with binge eating at the time and allowing myself to eat more food and know that I'm going to be gaining weight was actually really, really good for me 
because up until that point, I had been losing weight. I was There was no thought of me gaining. It was always, I need to try and lose weight, try and lose weight. And that's when I was like really struggling with binging. I was really, really going like through the cycle of three days of being quote unquote good, which meant really, really, really low calories and then have a binge day. I didn't understand why I was doing this. And then the next day after the binge, I would go, you know, really, really low calories, like super low calories because I felt guilty. And then the cycle would continue. And so this really did, I'm not saying this solved all my issues, but it really helped in that aspect because it helped me just allowed myself to eat a little bit more food and be okay with gaining weight. And this was like a really cool experience and it really did teach me a lot. And at the time, um, I had never really tracked macros seriously. And so this was the first time that I started really being serious about tracking my macros and making sure I'm hitting specific numbers. And so some of the good things that I learned through doing the show was one, how to track macros correctly, which is different than just tracking them, how to track them correctly and how to and like being able to figure out the amount of calories that are in certain foods, like, you know, what foods are, oh, wow, this food is a lot higher in calories than I thought it would be. Trail mix, right? Nut butters. Um, a lot of these things. I realized, oh, wow, these foods that I was snacking on are actually pretty high in calories and maybe weren't the best for me if I was actually trying to lose weight, right? And so that was something that I learned. It really did teach me quite a bit. And then on top of that, training pretty much every day, learning more and more in the gym, and just kind of, you know, getting that base of knowledge higher and higher and higher. That was a, a good thing that I learned through the bulk. And then obviously getting stronger, um, being okay with my body, getting a little bit bigger, all of those things were actually really good. So you're probably asking yourself, well, you said that this isn't something that people should do. It sounds like you had a positive experience. I did then, but then what comes after the bulk is the cut. And so what the cut is, is just bodybuilding terms for losing weight. <laughs> it's, re it's really all it is. It's bodybuilding terms for losing fat and um, not really gaining muscle because most bodybuilders, like if you're losing fat you or if you're doing bodybuilding shows, you, you no longer are getting what they call newbie gains where it's like possible to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. So you're basically just losing fat, losing size. And so I, I was like, all right, now it's time to cut. And so what the cut looked like for me was we started at a certain number. I don't exactly I don't exactly remember the number that it was, but we started at a number and it was relatively high. And then we went a couple weeks at that number and then we cut the number down by three, you know, two, three hundred calories. We would up the cardio a little bit at the time when I was bulking zero cardio, which isn't something I'd ever really recommend to anybody. I think doing some form of cardio, regardless of where you are in your journey, is good for your heart, good for your body. But we were, I wasn't doing any cardio during the bulk. And then cut started, starting implementing cardio a couple times a week. Not very much. It was like 15 minutes. Um, and then, you know, we'd cut the calories down a little bit, up the cardio up a little bit. Cut the calories down a little bit, up the cardio up a little bit, right? And at the start, it was all good. I was losing weight. I was like, cool. I was feeling a little puffy at the end of my bulk anyway. So I was like, I was excited to lose weight. I was like, let's get, let's get this bread. You know what I'm saying? But like the opposite of that. Um, and so I was ready. I was like excited. The issue came was as you, that, that, that continued, right? It, and it continues for anybody that's doing a bodybuilding show to a point where it's no longer healthy for most people. Right. And so it really messes with your mental health because you you start losing weight and then you start feeling like you, you don't feel that great, but people are telling you that you look better than you've ever looked. Not everybody, you know. A lot of times the people that are closest to you are like, bro, you look dead. And But, like, the people on social media are like, whoa, dude, freaking shredded, brother. Hell yeah. You know, and you get that. You get people, like, just hyping you up. And then so you just want to continue. You want to get leaner. You want, And then it... It, it can really get messed up. And then on top of this, think about the fact that I was someone that only a few years prior was almost 400 pounds. And so my relationship with food was really, really messed up and my relationship with my body. And so for me, and I'm not telling, I'm not telling anybody to do this. I just, I, feel like it's important to share the numbers that I was doing, but I was basically doing 
2,100 calories, which actually is quite a bit compared to a lot of the other people that compete, especially women. A lot of times women have to go under 1,000 calories, which is crazy because you're almost always lifting six days a week, you know, five, six days a week, and doing an hour or more of cardio almost every single day, right? So the lowest calories that I got was 2,100 calories, lifting, I think it was six days a week, and cardio pretty much every day for, I think it was 45 minutes, right? This got really hard. Really, really hard. My mental health got really bad. But I had so many people on the internet saying, wow, you look absolutely crazy, right? We have editors now. They can put up fancy stuff and show you what I looked like, and it'll it'll look very fancy, better than if I was to edit this. And so you can see I looked very different than I look now. So at my leanest for the show, I was 180 pounds, okay? And now I weigh 220 to 215 pounds most of the time. The reason I am not a fan and I really hate seeing, if I'm being completely honest, or it really just, I really worry which, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't worry about other people, when I see so many people posting about these shows that they're doing that have lost a massive amount of weight is because I know that there are people that watch that and think to themselves, I need to do that, right? There was a big show at Alpha Elite recently, um, Summer Shredding, and they always have what's called the Transformation Division, which is cool, and it's it's great that they, um, you know, they have this division to kind of showcase people that have lost a lot of weight. That's pr- pretty much what it always showcases is people that have lost a lot of weight. They have loose skin. It's great. It's awesome. It's very brave. You know, um, it's cool. But I know that shows like that have influenced a lot of people that are trying to lose weight because they're like, hey, I am afraid of dying or anything like that, right? It has influenced them to do to say, hey, I'm going to do a show. Now, why do I think this is such a problem? Because most people that I have seen that lose weight and then decide to do a show really, really, really struggle after the show is done. Why is that? A lot of the times is because, almost always, what you have to do to be ready for the show is not possible a lot of times, but definitely not sustainable for pretty much anybody. So what happens after the show is done? You start gaining weight. And as someone that has lost a lot of weight... It doesn't matter how well you understand that you're going to gain weight. It's hard to see that number on the scale go up. It's hard to see that definition go away. It's hard to see those likes disappear. It's hard to see the hard work go away because that's what it feels like when you're in the moment. And so what ends up happening for a lot of people, and this isn't just people that have lost a lot of weight, but I think it's worse for the people that have lost a lot of weight, is you gain quite a bit of weight like that. Right after the show is done, you gain a good amount of weight, right? Even if you're someone that's never been overweight, you gain 20 pounds two weeks after the show, and that's very normal. But if you are someone that has worked years to lose 100 200 pounds, seeing that scale go up rapidly is really, really hard to deal with. And a lot of people don't deal with it. And for a lot of people, it sends them to a really unhealthy place where they start gaining and they can't stop it. They can't control it. Or the other side of the spectrum is that they are so afraid to gain weight that they will do very dangerous things 
to stay as lean as they were on stage, or at least close to it, which isn't any better. That is why I wanted to make this video. Because I just want people to know that if you are losing weight, you do not ever have to step on a stage. It doesn't make you better or more committed because you stepped on a stage and showed your loose skin to people. It's not necessary. There's nothing wrong with it. If it's something that you want to do, I'm not going to sit here and, and say you're not allowed to. But please understand that it can be very dangerous and it can make something that is already very hard, like losing weight and keeping it off, much, much harder. So I just want people to understand what they're getting into if they decide to do one of these shows. It's not necessary, it's not needed, and a lot of times it can push you into the wrong direction. And I'm not saying this because I want to, oh, I didn't gain the weight and I'm on my hard horse. I don't care about that stuff, man. I really don't. I want people to be successful. That's all I want. I want you to be successful in losing weight and keeping it off. And a lot of times, this ain't the move. That's all I'm trying to say. If it works for you, that's great. That's awesome. Do your thing, right? But it's not necessary. But that's all I got to say. I would love to know if you have a similar experience or maybe you have a different experience, leave it down in the comment section. I'm just trying to share my experience and help those out there that might see this stuff and think to themselves, I need to do that. You don't need to. If you want to, feel free to do it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.